Hi folks, in today's video tutorials I'd like to focus on the feature shell with Creo Parametric 4.0. Again, I'd like to start from scratch, so we will define the new 3D model name. If you would like this working with shell feature, we need to create 3D geometry, so I will prepare the couple of features. It will be a really easy shape and doesn't matter about the dimension and symmetric so I'd like to only create a base 3D models and I don't want to see the datum feature here and again I'd like to create more than one feature so we can use the projection for example or create any shape here yeah? so I will combine the icons and right mouse button and I can delete unnecessary edges. The system will create for me the shape. If I will finish, you can see that my shape is really easy. Yeah. Again, we would like to create a full round feature here, so I can select the round feature and right mouse button full round. I said that I'd like to show you how to work with shell feature. We have a couple of options how to work with shell and the easiest way how to use the shell feature is select the shell and select surface to be removed from the part. So if you select one surface the system will remove this. The, this selected surface if you use the control button the system will remove more than one surfaces. You can change the thickness and you can go opposite direction and the system will add material from existing geometry. So I will go inside and specify the thickness. The thickness is possible to specify from 3D or directly from the ribbon menu. If you confirm, you have created first shell feature here. If you will change the dimensions, for example, of this extrude feature, it's not a problem. The system will automatically regenerate all visible features. The question is, if you would like to specify the hole here, and I'd like to create a hole, and I'd like to create concentric hole. I miss the axis, so it's no problem. You can select from the right menu, create the datum axis, select the surface, confirm OK, and then you can continue with the whole feature. With the control button, you will select the start surface and the system will create whole feature for you. Right now, you can see that system create everything correctly. I need to specify the depth and the depth will be through all. Yeah, so right now the system will go through with the hole. If you need to change shape of the extra 2, you can with dynamic preview again really easy change it. The question is if you will make some modification in the model tree. I will spin the model like here and right now the system reads the information from top to bottom. If I will move the hole up to shell, will change the shape of the created object a little bit. For better explanation, I will switch shading with the G's. Yeah, it will be better for visualization. So how the system reads the data? I, will create, I have created extrude feature 1, extrude feature 2, then I have created a round feature hole, yeah? and then for the shell feature was selected two surfaces, top surface and left surface. If you would like to edit that hole, you can select again edit definition for shell feature and you can in the reference tab select more than two surfaces and the system will remove the hole too. So it depends how you will manage the feature in model tree. 
And what about another modification of the shell? You can add or remove the feature because over here you can see the menu where is removed removed feature. So for example, you can remove that surface or we can use the menu from here, from the ribbon, or you can use the control button. On the right side here is the specification non-default thickness. If you click here and you specify one or more surfaces, the system will show you the another dimension thickness. Over here is the thickness of the material for the whole 3D model. And over here, you can see that is the possibility to specify different thickness. Again, I will finish and for better explanation, I will create a section as a planner and I will move it a little bit. And you can see here how it's how it is defined. So I, if I will select again at the definition for the shell feature and in reference window, I can select the another surface, for example, that surface, I can specify different thickness. Yeah, so the system will change the vis visibility for me. If you don't want to work with the sections, you can deactivate. In this example, you have seen how we can work with shell feature and specify different visibility of the removed surfaces or how to manage the feature in the model tree. In the next example, I'd like to show you how you can exclude some surfaces from the shell feature. I will start again from the scratch so I will create new shell feature, new 3D model, and I will create some revolved shape. I'd like to create, for example, some cap. So over there will be really easy shape for the cap. And if you work with revolve feature, we need to specify the, the revolved shape and axis of revolution. If you confirm, the system will create base shape for you. Okay, what, for, what we need to do is to specify the another feature and for example, I'd like to show you how we can create the ear on the cap. So I'd like to create a sketch and in the sketch, we will create really easy shape. If I would like to set the references that surface, so I can use the Alt key from my keyboard. Yeah, this is the shape what I would like to use for the sweep feature. In the sweep, I will select go to section and in the section, I'd like to place the predefined sketch from the palette. Over here, we have a shapes of several shapes and I will use the drag and drop and I'd like to place it here and for example, spin it a little bit, change the size. Yeah, I will finish the placement of the, of the sketch from the sketch palette, and then I will finish the sketch. System will automatically sweep predefined sketch, and in the option tab, I will use the merge ends because I like to merge these ends directly to create a surface. Okay. So you can see the sweep feature is working, the system will follow the sketch. If I will change it a little bit, so I'd like to change the original shape. We can use some fillets here. And the system will create nice ear on the mic up. And now we would like to focus on the shell. So if I will select the shell feature, and the system asked me, can you show, can you select the surface to, re to will be removed? Okay, no problem. You can see that system will remove all surfaces. 
and inner surfaces from the ear too. So again, I would like to focus on the section and I will go directly here. So we have uh, two possibilities. How to manage that you don't want to create a shell directly inside of the cap. You know that it is possible to move the shell feature up to sweep, yeah, drag and drop, and everything is done. It was really quick. But sometimes you have a parent and child relationships and it's really hard to, to move this feature. For example, you have a, your sketch is connected to existing geometry and then it's not possible to move like here. So I will go back, yeah, and I don't want to see the visualization of the section, deactivate, and I will edit definition of the sweep feature, of, of the shell feature. Over here, we have a possibility to go to Option tab and over there is the function Excluded Surfaces. You can select the excluded surfaces step by step, surfaces from the object and then the system will allow to you to select with Shift button Attached Surface. And then if you finish, the system automatically create the selected surfaces automatically and the name of this selection is seed and boundaries yeah okay so right now you can see that it's not the system will automatically exclude selected surfaces from the shell so you can see it is working really nicely and what about radius yeah again you, if you have a look here, I'd like to create a radius because this cap is not look so good. So I will delete this feature one more time and I will, I'd like to show you that is the possible work with round features. So for example, I will select that edge and that edge with control button and specify some rounds. And then over here, I'd like to create the round feature here. Oh, it looks good. And again, if you create a shell feature, select the top surface. You don't want to see the round here, yeah, inside, because I don't want to create a shell feature directly in over there. So go to Option tab, click Exclude Surfaces, select the first surface, Shift key and Surfaces here, and system will create automatic selection for seeded boundaries. If you finish, your caps looks perfectly. And right now you can make a visualization, for example, with Creo rendering. I hope that you like this quick shell video tutorial with Creo Parametric 4.0. Thank you, Vladimir. Bye-bye.